let's do for the uh, present price we are going to um, this plot let's look into kilometers driven that should be giving me something good so i have car dot <laughs> so all of our data lies uh, in 0 to 10,000, uh, 1 lakh scale, okay, 1 lakh kilometer. And I think there's one car which is having something more than 5, 5 lakhs. Yeah. If you want to look into that specific car, the code will be something like this. So we have car and inside of this, I will pass out a condition. <coughs> Cars, uh, we have the kilometers driven. Okay, I'll be taking uh, all with two with two lakh. All with uh, two lakh. All car values with more than two lakh kilometers. Oops, I gave one more extra. Hmm. We can actually see that our 2 lakh we have like 2 cars only. Let's uh, make it to 10. Hmm. So, these are the cars. Okay, these are the cars. And we these are the cars which have been driven more than uh, uh, 10, 1 lakh kilometers. Okay. And the selling price, you can actually see these are quite less. And for uh, 5 lakh, it's almost in 0 0.17 scale. Okay, this is scaled up. Okay, this is not actually the price, but this is the scaled up price. Just remember that. No company will ever give you the exact data. They have did a small matrix, applied a small matrix. So, uh, from that, we are getting the selling price, right? So, we have everything now. Next thing is, let's uh, look into what we have. We have fuel type, seller type, and uh, transmission. If you look into the data set, in all of these, we have uh, our core features. Okay, we have to encode them out, right? These three things. Before that, you can just put a count plot to check out their uh, distribution. So I'll just do a small count plot before I move into the encoding part. Count plot, and I'll pass car dot fuel type similarly sns dot count plot and i'll pass um we have seller type and transmission so we have car dot seller type and then i have transmission sns dot count plot Let's uh, have car dot transmission. Hmm. So we have our data. You can see that for CNG, we have the least data out from here. Also, you can check it out from value counts also if you want. So we can have car. Then you can pass out fuel type. And then just pass value counts. Hmm. So it says that in the data set we have only two CNG one, right? And the data set is highly biased on uh, the fuel type 230, uh, fuel type petrol. Similarly, if you look into the seller type, we have individual and dealer. We have more number of dealers over here. The same thing we have for um, car transmission. We have more of manual cars. As these are old cars, so we have more uh, manual gears over here, right? So that's it with the EDA part. We have a lot of details about our model, right? A lot of details about our data, how it is variated, what is the medium, what is the, uh, what are the columns that we need. The next thing that if you could recall is the, um, what we exactly need is we need to encode them. Okay. 